Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool program. You can find the details at the description in this video. Hope to see you there! Going back to 2019, when you heard the word pandemic, what came first to your mind? Zombie or alien invasion? Natural disaster film? Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Today, we are going to talk about Basic Survival Tips, COVID-19 Edition. In this topic, we will answer the question, How can you survive physically, mentally, and socially in this COVID-19 pandemic? We have seen how film characters survive attacks from zombies or aliens, natural disasters, and biological weapons. But how about us? How can we keep ourselves and families safe during this time? While pandemic movies are exaggerated, what we are experiencing now also struck us with fear and anxiety. The whole country is currently in quarantine, and young people like you are expected to continue learning while juggling house chores, social activities, and some part-time jobs. Instead of asking when will this end, the real question is, what can we do now? Here are some tips on how you can mentally socially and physically get through this crisis let us start with discussing how you can care for your mental health during this pandemic here are some suggested ways to cope with the current situation first set a goal this goal doesn't necessarily need to be a big one a few small goals per day can help you feel satisfied a study has shown that people with a steady stream of minor accomplishments are 22% more satisfied in life than those with few major accomplishments. Small goals per day like winning one online game match, washing clothes, and finishing school tasks are enough. Do not bombard yourself with a number of goals per day for it might add up to your frustrations. Second, set a routine. To achieve your goals, you have to know how and when to do them. Then, you can set a routine. Staying at home can be really too relaxing, but with routines, you can still remain focused and self-directed, especially with your schoolwork, despite feeling lazy sometimes. Third, frequent breaks. Try stretching, getting some air, playing a bit with your pet, or playing short mini games. These are healthy breaks that will keep you motivated and recharged to begin and finish a task. However, make sure not to get too absorbed in your break for it might ruin your routine. Fourth, find your happy space. Houses come in different sizes. It's fine. Just find your personal space to keep your mindset in your tasks and to make you feel comfortable. Once you have stabilized your mental health, you can try following these tips to care for your social needs. First, Communicate regularly with your family. Your family are the closest people to you nowadays. Chat and spend time with them in the midst of your schoolwork 
Second, find your go-to person. Aside from yourself, we all have this one person that we are comfortable to talk with. For sure, they are just one chat away. Third, read positive content on social media. Memes can spread good vibes and help you keep from feeling frustrated. Interacting with your friends in a positive way on social media can also help you and them as well. You can share cute pictures of animals or snippets of your favorite comedy shows. Once you gain healthy mental and social condition, it will immediately reflect on your physical condition. You will look and feel good about yourself and won't get easily infected by sickness. As the saying goes, laughter is the best medicine. Still, do not forget to physically maintain your body through regular intake of vitamins, exercise, and eating healthy food. Would you like to try practicing these tips? How about a short activity? Let's do it together! You want to finish your two school tasks and move on to the next two advanced tasks in one day. But you still have your house chores. Do you think you will be able to finish all of your plans in one day? What do you think is the best thing to do? Yes, set a goal. You don't have to finish everything in one day. Set a schedule and goal one step at a time. How about this? You feel bored because all you can do inside your house is watch TV or scroll on social media feeds. What other things can you do? Yes, communicate with your family. Spend some real time with them or set an online meeting with your closest friends. Now that you have adjusted your goals and you have your regular family and barcada time, you notice that you easily get exhausted from little chores. What do you need to do? Yes, remember to still have physical exercises to keep you active and for you to lose some quarantine weight. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye everyone!